question number 21. A variable resistor is connected in series to a cell with an internal resistance. R is here. This is your, let me say this is your EMF E. Okay. The resistance of the variable resistor is increased. You are increasing this. This is capital R. What happens to the power dissipated in the cell and to terminal potential difference of the cell? So, first what we will do is let us find out what is the current. Current I should be equal to E divided by R plus R, right? Because it is a series circuit. Now, the next is, is asking power dissipated in the cell. Why does the power dissipate? Because there is an internal resistance here. So, the power dissipated here is nothing but I squared into R which will be E divided by E square divided by R plus R the whole square into R. I just substituted this value here. Okay. So, therefore, I get this. Now, as you notice here, when the R value increases, it is in denominator. So, P value will decrease. Right. So, therefore, power dissipator in the cell will decrease. Where is it? It decreases here. So, this increases and this increases goes away. One of them should be right. Right. Okay. Then next is, he is asking you terminal potential difference. How do you write terminal potential difference as V is equal to E minus IR. This E minus whatever is the drop it is getting dropped over here, E minus IR. So what should I do here? When the value of R increases, value of I will decrease. When the value of I decreases, this becomes lesser here. Okay. It is like writing, let us say for example, it is some uh, 12 volt over here and uh, a current or something, let us say for example. Uh, the voltage drop here is something like 4 volt over here. So, initially with a given value of R, you were getting V1 to be equal to 12 minus 4. You are getting something like this. Okay. Now, when the value of R is increasing, what will happen? The current is, in, current is decreasing. Right? Current decreases. That means this value will no more be 4. It might become 3. Okay? So, initially what was the value of uh, V1? V1 was 8 volt. Now, if this becomes 3, then this becomes... 12 minus 3 becomes 9 volt over here. So, what is happening then? That means, so for every decrease in the current, so for example, next value could be 12 minus 2, which will be 10 volt over here. For every decrease in the current, the terminal potential difference seems to be increasing, which means which is the right answer. This is also wrong because it decreases here. So, this is the right answer. Okay.